Anti-Lock Braking System, aka ABS, is a braking system which applies brakes in an pulsating manner to avoid skidding and stop your vehicle in shorter distance. But how come pulsating braking is more effective than continuous one? Let's untangle in this video. When the vehicle moves, it has kinetic energy in it. When the brake is applied, you lose that kinetic energy by friction, converting it into heat. So, braking is commonly dependent upon how much friction is applied. Friction and pressure are two extremely different terms, which are generally misunderstood, leading to the need of ABS. Friction is caused due to rubbing of two surfaces. If the contact surface is more, and that too, the surface finish is rough, you get more effective friction. In a vehicle which is not equipped with ABS, when the brake is applied, initially some pressure is applied causing friction between two contact surfaces of the brakes. As they rub on each other, they cause friction, slowing the vehicle down. But if the vehicle is heavy or is at very high speed, it has lot of kinetic energy in it. And to stop it quicker, if you press the brake pedal hard, lot of pressure is applied. This pressure stops friction. The brake pads get stuck onto each other so tightly that it locks. Means there isn't any rubbing between them, rather they get stuck like a one piece. We think this should stop spinning the wheel, which actually it does. But as the vehicle has not lost all its kinetic energy yet, it still continues moving forward, called skidding. The contact surfaces for friction were rubbing for very short duration. Hence, very less kinetic energy was lost due to friction in brakes. Now, the friction you have to stop your vehicle is just the friction between wheel and road caused due to skidding. Roads are flat and tires are curved. So, there is very little surface contact between both of them, called line contact. And to add up to this, the roads are also smooth surfaces, decreasing the friction even more. So, less contact surface that too with less friction cannot use up the kinetic energy of your vehicle as quickly as required. Hence, long distances of rubbing to absorb the kinetic energy of the vehicle, which is very dangerous. Brakes are designed for maximum surface contact. That too with rough surfaces, making it a better choice of losing kinetic energy and stop your vehicle faster. So rather than locking it up, using it for longer is an wise option. ABS applies brakes, which creates friction. And just before this friction locks up the brake, the brakes are released. Now the wheels are allowed to gain momentum again with the leftover kinetic energy of your vehicle. As the wheels start spinning, the brakes are applied again. So you get rubbing surfaces again. This rubbing means great friction and loss of kinetic energy. When this is done multiple times in pulsating manner, you lose lot of kinetic energy. If you put this in a graphical representation, you can see how level of friction in brakes, even though in a pulsating manner, creates more net friction than continuous friction with low magnitude caused due to skidding. As you get more effective friction in shorter duration of time, you lose your kinetic energy quicker, stopping your vehicle in a shorter distance. That's why pulsating braking in ABS is more effective than continuous one with skidding tires. If you learn something new, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. Also make sure you hit the like button. If having any questions, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys next week.